Well, in the blessed Holy Ghost, amen, I'm Brother Dwayne, and I greet you on behalf of the Shekinah Family Worship Center, where we are led by Pastor Fields. We welcome you to come and join us in Romulus, Michigan, as we worship and serve the Lord our God. If you are interested, you can contact Pastor Fields at area code 313-300-6457. Again, that phone number is 313-300-6457. We also invite you to please click, subscribe, like, and share this video as we are in the fourth day of our eighth day conference as Dr. Kwa is ministering the word of life. Amen. Today, the topic is the preeminence of the word of God as we are this Wednesday in July 2020. The preeminence of the word of God. Let's go now to Dr. Kwa as he ministers the word of life. And make thy people hear. Yeah. Yes. Let your people hear what you talking to them in their backslidden condition. <coughs> he said, Revive thy work, O Lord, while here to thee we bow. That's the chorus. Descend, O gracious Lord. Descend. Okay? No, it's, it's descend. It's to, it's to descend. Okay, yeah. Descend, O gracious Lord, descend, O come, bless us now. Yes, God. Okay? Descend, descend, come and bless us now. Yes. Then he said, Revive thy work, O Lord, create so thirst for thee. Yes. yes. No thirst for, for barbecues and the material. Mm -hmm. So thirst. Ah, create hunger in our souls, O God. Yes, God. Thirst for righteousness. Thirst yeah. for God. Yeah. Let our souls uh, uh, reject the barbecue dinners. Mm -hmm. Let our soul hunger for righteousness Amen. and yeah. thirst. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Ah, hey, Lord. Says here, and hungering for the bread of life. Oh, may our spirits be. Oh, may our spirits be hungering for the bread of life. Yes. You see that? We need the bread of life. Okay? Well, what is the name? The prophet Amos says, A time is coming that I shall send, said the Lord, farming over the face of the earth. Amen. But it's not a farming for bread and butter, no. for popcorn and barbecue, not, not that kind of farming. <laughs> but the farming of hearing my word. If ever America know, needs to hear the words of God, it is now. Amen. Amen. Not the words of preachers. Amen. Amen. Not the words of some masculine preacher Amen. pretending like he came from God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ooh, let us have the, yeah, the bread of life. Revive thy work, O Lord. Exalt thy precious name. If the name of God is not ex exalted in this nation, we go in vain. Christ must be glorified. Amen. Christ must be lifted up. Amen. And I, if I'm lifted up, I'll, I'll save or draw men unto myself. Amen. 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 Jesus. Exalt that precious name. Mm -hmm. And by the Holy Ghost, uh, in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. And by the Holy Ghost, our love for thee and thine in flame. Yes, yes. By the Holy Ghost, set our love for you and our love for us aflame. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Revive thy word, O Lord. Give power unto thy word. Yes. Because the people are dead. You might have power in the word to pierce their dead souls. Yes, yes, yes. Lord. Yes. And place the word yes. of life in their yes. Yes. Amen. Give power to thy word. Amen. Grant that thy blessed gospel may allow a living faith be heard. Yes. 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 Grant that when they hear thy word, it will be mixed with faith. Amen. Amen. Yes. Faith, right? 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 Faith. 
to receive what God has for you, faith, the Holy Ghost. Revive that work, O Lord, yes, and give refreshing showers. Thy glory shall be all thine own. Now, I like that. Yes. We will take the glory. Amen. The glory of what will happen will be all yours. Yes. But Lord, the blessing, let it be ours. Yes. <laughs> Amen. You take the glory, Lord, but give us the blessing. Amen. <laughs>
Now they are all dead. Yes. It used to be Anglicans who were praying for God. In, in, in England. It used to be Baptists who were hard some years ago. Now they are all dead. Pentecostals came on in, and now I don't know what cost that they have. <laughs> they came on in, and I don't know what they have left. Amen. But the Holy Ghost is still alive. Of Presbyterian or Pentecostal, it comes from the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. And every people that has a hunger for God, the Spirit of God will descend in their Oh, gracious Lord, 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The all important of the word. Are you a son of God? Amen. You ain't going nowhere until the word is paramount. Unless the word of God takes first place in your being. Amen. Huh? Amen. You see, when we talk about the word of God, you know, some of you just look at Bible. <laughs> that the book says in the beginning was Bible and the Bible was, was with God. <laughs> the book don't say that. You hear me now? Alright, the book says in the beginning was the Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Bible. <laughs> was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the music. The word was <laughs> yes. the word was God. Amen. So when we say the word of God is more than what is written down in the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. These are the words that he caused to be written down from the word. <laughs> <laughs> From the word that made the heavens, that made the earth. We heard the Lord discuss his sons. You ought to understand. My word is from everlasting. Yes. The word is from everlasting. He's been there for ages. <laughs> okay? These words were written in the time of Moses. And in the time of the prophets, in the time of you know, Israel. But when there was no Israel, there was no word. <laughs> when there was no, no Moses, there was the word. <laughs> and then to show us mercy, after he created all things, by the word. And without the word was nothing made that was made. Okay, in him was life. Yes, I can't see how you can say I know the word of God because you know verses. Mm -hmm. No, he talking about you know verses, so you know the word of God. The guy is huge. It's a person we are dealing with. The word is a person. Amen. The word is God. And the word became flesh yeah, yeah. and dwelled among us. Yeah. And we beheld the glory of this word mm -hmm. as the glory of the only begotten Son of God, yeah. full of grace and truth. Come on. Mm -hmm. and the word mm -hmm. became a person. Mm -hmm. This the law causes my word is mysterious. Yeah. Just my word is mysterious. It's a mystery, it's a my word, it's an amazing word. Then, then, then I tell you, say, your Lord is an amazing Lord. Because mm -hmm. he's the word. Yeah. And the word was with the Father. Mm -hmm. And the word was God. You tell me, how, how, how can that be? Yeah. Yes, God. <laughs> Get out of your scientific so called science mind. It's foolishness mind. Mm -hmm. Science. <laughs> Science deals with material. Amen. God is spirit. There ain't no material. So you tell me, what science can dissect God? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey. Oh. <laughs> that is why scientists who will not humble themselves and come by their only way, bypass your fallen mind, and by faith put your trust in the living world. Amen, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I, maybe tomorrow, during, during the rest of the week, I'll read to you one of the most amazing medical doctors of this nation. Amazing! He says, you know, they ask him, like, what, what is it that makes you say? He wrote so many things. He published so many medical you know, journals and all kinds of stuff. But he said, when I get up early in the morning, want to know why, why they say I'm, I'm so important to the nation. Because when I wake up in the morning, 6 o'clock, 
All after I'm ready, I come and sit down and read my word. <laughs> ah, I read my word. I read my word. He said, why do you read word? You are a scientist. Because the word of God and it teaches me what I've been trying to deal with people. The word of God dissects and, and, and inspects and reveals my own being to me. My true nature. Amen. 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 The word of God reveals my true nature, who I am. And because I know who I am, then I can bring the, the all that I need to do for you because I'm in touch with him. Amen. You want to go and be a big scientist, okay? And then you leave God out. You are the most stupid mind of his because your science is going to take you to hell anyway. Mm -hmm. Your godless science is going to take you down into the pit of destruction. Yeah, okay? So if you are smart, only smart men come to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> only the true smart men come to God, brother. Amen. If you are smart, come to God. Come you ain't smart, then you go and do your own thing. And you end up in destruction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the priority of the word of God. All right. Now here, I'm gonna read this message quick. I have to. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, it is true. The songwriter saw the truth. He said, "Listen, what the song you know is about." The song. He said, "Whatever is of the world." Shall all pass away? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know that all your beautiful gem gonna pass away. You know that. Your girl. I'm glad you know that. <laughs> there is only one thing you have embraced that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> they call him the word. All right. Hold on to the word. Oh, I know. Hold on to the word. Let the word guide you in what you do. And it shall be a, a great blessing to, to, to humanity. Hallelujah. You hear me now? Yes. But if you leave God out, it's empty. Amen. Guys, you hear me? If you leave God out of what you're doing, it's empty. Amen. You don't help nobody. You don't help the flesh. But when you bring God in, and you allow God to flow through your being to the people you are trying to help. My Lord, God will be with you because he knows yes. what you are going beyond what you are doing and doing the real stuff yes. that he wants you to do for him. Yes. You see that? All right. <laughs> Whatever is of the world shall pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. Yes, it is the word that does everything. It is the word that created the world. It is the word that gives life. Don't you see when you read the word that it is by the word of the mouth, of his mouth, that the Lord created all the worlds. By the word of his mouth, he created all the worlds. Yes, it is the word that does everything. Yes, without the word of God, nothing happens. Amen. <laughs> you see, listen, in the beginning was the word, and the word was the God, and the word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, a person, and without him was not anything made that was made. Brother, you try to make something happen without the word of God and see if it will happen. Amen. The Lord said, why are you all trying to make something happen without me? Why do you all leave me out? Don't you know I create all things? Yes. Amen. And you're trying to bypass me to go and create some stuff. What do you create? Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna help anybody. But when you allow me to create with you, I know, oh. I put value. Yes. 
Yes. Spirit value into what you do. Amen. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I put spirit value in what you do with me. Amen. Say it's here. Don't you see when you read the word that it is by the word of his mouth that the Lord created all, all the words. Yes, it is the word that does everything. Yes, without the word of God, nothing happens. Yes, it is true. You know that I do not lie. That's one thing that the Lord keeps saying. I do not lie. Right. There is no lie in me. So don't lie when you are walking with me. And when I call you as my brethren, listen. Once, once the Lord came and said, how are you, my brethren? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> he said, now, why, why are you surprised? Are you not my brothers? Yes. Are we not of the same father? He yes. said, my father is your father. <laughs> my Lord. So when I call you my brethren, it is true. You know, I don't lie. I said, wow, look at what you're talking to us. <laughs> How are you, my brethren? He said, we are one. See, so I'm your elder brother. Okay? And by me, he said, I have the inheritance given to me by the Father. And I'm keeping it on your behalf. Oh, Zama, come on, you know. Because I'm the elder brother of the family. Yeah. Everything passes through my hands. And I dispense them to all my younger brethren. Ambuza! Ambuza, I don't hear you on the more tongues. My tongues mixes with my words. <laughs> oh, it is fun. Your Father God is amazing. Amen. Your Lord Jesus yes, is amazing. Yes. Yes. And they are loving and loving family. Yes. My Lord, <laughs> don't you know I mean, the mercy he's shown you? You and I knew no love. Mm -hmm. We knew hatred. Mm -hmm. We knew all that was evil. Amen. We hated one another, brother. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me now? We didn't care. We were self-centered selfishness. Mm -hmm. We were like the devil. Mm -hmm. Because his seed was in us. Right. A devil, a murderer. Yeah. Okay? And now, by the mercy of the Lord, we have been you know, brought in into a family of love. Yes. Oh! <laughs> My brother, that's a shock. You know, it, you know it's a shock? <laughs> you who knew no love, all of a sudden, bam! Ooh, what is it? Son, this is my love for you. Wow. wow. This is straight love. I mean, that love is the son. You ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. We are a family of love. Yeah. Your father and I and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. We have loved one another since the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. And so we, we decided we create man mm -hmm. in our image and then share with them our love. <laughs> <laughs> we gave we, we gave it to your father Adam and he didn't hold it, he followed after. Mm -hmm. So he was choked. <laughs> and he followed the devil. Mm -hmm. Now he died. Mm -hmm. But we didn't leave you in your pit. Mm -hmm. I sent my son yeah. to come every day. Yes. Yeah. And this time we ain't letting man go. Okay, we ain't let the man, we're gonna live in him. Azul! <laughs> we're gonna let uh, uh, Christ live in you when you are saved. Amen. So, brother, if you don't want Jesus, you wanna do your own thing, then, brother, just leave Jesus alone. Okay? Because he must live inside you, he must dwell in us. This is the new creation, not the old one, where we were independent, live our own life. This now is Christ Jesus in us, the hope of glory. Amen. This now we are in Christ together. Amen. I am called Dr. Paul in Christ. A loser. <laughs> brother Moses in Christ. Amen. Brother, brother who? Brother who? Brian. Brother Brian in Christ. Amen. You can never leave Christ out. Because that is your new nature. Yes. That's your new reality. Amen. Christ is part of you. Yes, Lord. So get out. Yes, 
born on their from their communion with the Lord. Mm. Okay, that's one thing God does. Okay, He enlightens your darkness Amen. and opens your eyes. You can see. You survey around places. You see what's going on in the spirit. You understand things instantly Amen. in the spirit. That is God, brothers. Okay, I say, listen. I know you all love to go to church. All right, I do all. But don't make this life that of just going to church. You hear that? Come on, amen. After you go on to church and sang in the choir and danced to barbecue dinners and all that, brother, come and walk with God. Come on, man. And commune with him. Come on, man. Draw close to him. Come on. Seek him with your whole being. Come on. That's how you grow. Come on. You get to know him, you grow. You don't know him, you don't grow. Come on, man. Come on. Ah, she. Yes, it is by the word that you will do everything. And if I did not do anything without the word, neither can you do anything without the word. Amen. Don't you remember what my servant David said? He said, when I lie down on my bed, I meditate on thy word day and night. So you too must learn to meditate on the word day and night. Yes, it is true. Tell them that I want them to meditate on the word day and night tells them. So I'm telling you. Yes. Whoever else will come around, I'll tell him, God says you must meditate on the word day and night. Don't just go to church. Yes, man. Jesus. Ah. Yes. So I want you, I, I want to tell them, I want them to meditate on the word day and night in their heart. Yes, tell them that they should meditate in the word because the word gives life. It gives light. It gives wisdom. It gives understanding. It enlightens your eyes. It gives knowledge to the heart. Hallelujah. You hear God telling you what the word of God does. Oh, yes. the, par the, the paramount nature of the word of God, the priority. You're going to get life, wisdom, understanding comes from the word. Yes, amen. yes, the word does so many things for you. So you need to meditate in the word day and night. Have you, who is your man? You said, uh, uh, have you, what is it? Forgotten, yeah, have you forgotten what I told Joshua? This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate there and day and night. Not sometimes. Right. Not night alone. Day and night. Amen. That, 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 that God only day and night. Amen. Oh, he means it, right? Yes. So why don't you mean it? Oh, yes. 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 You just give a this only in church. Even church, you don't, you don't meditate. They don't even ask you to think. Yes. Sit down quietly and think of the word of God. Mm -hmm. They sing their one yes. song, two songs, but the message is gone. Mm -hmm. Go to church and spend one hour. A whole service. What are you doing? What did you want to do? A whole service lasted one hour. <laughs> so what did God do for you? <laughs> oh, my Father God. <laughs> you all don't say amen. I know you all don't like it. Uh, yeah, Maybe I'm removing something. <laughs> I'm removing some things from your, from your life. Amen. Come on. But one thing I do good, I don't do it for myself. Holy Ghost. He will remove some, yeah. some, some dead stuff from your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some dead theological and religious Amen. Yeah. That sounds good, but it don't give you life. You mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't say amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate there in day and night. Don't you remember what I said it will do for him? Yes, it is true indeed. As I was saying, it is I who told Joshua. Yes, when my servant Moses died, I called Joshua and told him to rise to lead my people to, the, to cross the Jordan. Yes, I told him to read my word and, and to meditate in my word day and night so he would have good success and prosper in his work for me. So how are you going to do your work without dwelling in the word? Come on now. You see, you don't understand the word is water. The washing of the word would be like water. 
water. The word is water. It washes your mind. Okay, it washes your mind. Mm -hmm. As you put it, you take the word in, it cleanses. It's water, it washes. A husband is supposed to wash his wife and lose her. Come on, get him and lose Wash his wife with the water of the word. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. Okay, so the word, the word is water. And uh, when the water of the word washes your mind, it waters it. It waters your mind, makes it open to God, soften the hardness of your thoughts. You don't know some thoughts are hard. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> mean thoughts, yeah. wicked thoughts, you know, hatred thoughts. Unmerciful, unforgiven thought, they are hard. Yes, thoughts. yes. The word softens your mind. Thank you, Jesus. Softens. It calms you down. It takes the madness out of your soul. <laughs> the raging waters that want to boil and will kill somebody. Read <laughs> the word, it will calm your, your madness down. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank God that the word. Thank God that your wife reads the word. <laughs> if you have bread on your way, read the word too. <laughs> oh, that's why you are alive, brother. Let me more. <laughs> My Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. I love him. You know, you're loving Brother bro, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. I remind thy work, O God. Yes, yes. Ah, thy mighty hand be lay, lay back. Yes. And speak with a word yes. that wakes up the dead. Yes, I told Joshua to read my word and meditate in my word day and night so he would have good success and prosper in his work for me. I also told him, there shall no man be able to stand before him all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you, nor forsake you. But I also told him to be strong and of a good courage and to lead the people to possess their inheritance. Mm -hmm. And finally, I pointed him to my word, to the book of the law, mm -hmm. my word, for him to meditate yes. day and night and yes. obey it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true. Let them understand that they should proclaim the word of salvation mm -hmm. to the people. As a phrase, you hear me now. Don't you know how sweet the word of salvation is? Yes. Listen to Jesus. Yes. You don't know how sweet the word of salvation is to the soul? Mm -hmm. He knows if the word of God is preached proper, it is sweetness to the inner life of the hearer. Yes. My Lord! Yes. Yes. Don't you know how sweet the word of salvation is? Yes, it is very sweet to the soul. So, listen to this, you should proclaim it to the people yeah. and do not cover it mm. up. No, do not cover it mm. up, but, but daily proclaim the good news of my salvation to the people. I want to read you something. Mm. That's why I put this one here. Okay, I want to go. The reason why he said do not cover it up, mm. all right? Because when he came down here, he didn't cover it. He knows what it means to cover it. Right? Okay? In, in, in the Psalm, Psalm 40, okay, David talks about it, about the, about the ministry of Jesus. That he ain't coming to cover up the word of God. Okay? He coming to talk the word straight. He ain't going to hide it. Alright? So here, he's telling us what, you know, what the word of God you know, must do. No minister should cover up the word of God by lying, lying spirits. Lying spirit in the in the life of the minister twist the word. Say so here, chapter forty, Psalm forty, 
said, verse 6, talking about the ministry of Jesus Christ. Sacrifice and offering, when Christ was coming to the world. Sacrifice and offering thou would not desire. My ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering has thou not required. He didn't want that. He said, Father, you don't want no more burnt offering and animals and this and that. I'm tired of it. Right. All right? Then he says, shit. Then I said, Lord, I come. All right, Lord, I'm coming now. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. In the word, it is written of me. Yes. I delight to do thy will, O God. Oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Now listen to verse 10. I have not hidden thy righteousness within my heart. Ah, you put your righteousness in my being. I didn't hide it. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. I came and proclaimed what you poured into my being. Amen. Amen. I didn't cover it up. Amen. He says here, I, uh, I have preached, you know, I delight to do thy will, O God. Yea, thy, thy law is within my heart. He says here, uh, I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hidden thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Yeah. I didn't hide it. Hallelujah. I didn't cover it up. Hallelujah. I don't allow some lying spirit to cast some, some, some something on my eye. I don't see the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So he says here. Yeah. Yet it is very sweet to you know to the soul when you preach the word of salvation. So you should proclaim it to the people. And do not cover it up. No, do not cover it up, but daily proclaim the good news of my salvation to the people. Yes, it is true. A lot of people do not know what the word of God does for them. Mm. They don't know what the word, they don't know that the word protects them. Yeah. David said, I have hidden thy word in my heart, mm. so I may not sin against you. Yes, the word protects you in all your goings and comings, and it does not allow you to sin against the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. That will allow you to sin against the Lord in your heart. Yes, it also protects you. It protects your very life. And it is a shield to defend you in all your ways. So you must proclaim the word of salvation to the people. So the people will, will know it and keep it in their heart. Yes, it is true. As I was saying earlier on in the message, in this world, everything will pass away except the word of God. Amen. Amen. Don't you know what I gave to my servant Isaiah? I said, all men are like the grass in the field and the flowers in the field. The sun rises and shines upon them and their beauty withers and passes away. And it, and it is no more. It right like a flower. The sun burns, the flower with us. Yes. That is life in its essence down here. Yes. We rise and then we fall. Yes. We disappear yes. and we go. Amen. Yes, that is how life is. You may flourish one day and wither the next day. Wow. The glory of man passes away, but the word of God abides forever and ever. Amen. And it never withers. It never passes away, yes. nor ever ceases. Amen. The word abides forever. Amen. Yes, it is true. You see, if the thing abides forever and you hang yourself, you tie yourself to the word, brother, you are dead, brother, you are no one. Yes, yes. You prosper and live. Mm -hmm. You live your full time. Okay, given to you to live on earth. Yes. Yeah. Read, read, okay, read uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 2. I said read chapter 2 mm -hmm. and read chapter 3. But read it in the Amplified. Go Amplified Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amplified Bible, the version called Amplified. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
then this one is King James and Amplified together. Okay? Okay? You want to see the Amplified? My law is opens it up. Okay? It is based on the fact that the Greek, the Greek language is the richest language. There will be one, one, uh, uh, five words for one word. Right. Yeah. When English will use one word to translate everything, Greek will bring all the details. Amen. Okay, so it touches is amplified. Mm. It, it opens it up. Yeah. Okay, it brings the various shades of meaning in the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when 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 that happens, okay, you will have a better But I want you to read read chapter three Proverbs, the very you know, the first three uh, 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 verses. Okay, you will see Proverbs. The yeah, Proverbs, chapter two, chapter three in the amplified. Right, and you see, my Lord, mm -hmm. Ooh, now I'm not mm -hmm. <laughs> It was there that the seed was planted in my being. Now, I'm gonna live long. I'm mm -hmm. Yes, I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm gonna live long. <laughs> I'm 70 years old. I have, I have, I need another 50. I'm good, but I'm going down 50, brother. <laughs> but I've already done 70. <laughs> I need 50 more. Just no one goes. Brother, live in the Holy Ghost and you know how crazy I am. Amen. Yes. The spirit of life Amen. is what sustains us, Amen. not death. Yes. Amen. How long will it be before you open your being to God? Mm. Let him blow you up. Amen. <laughs> Brother Moses, oh, I tell you. <laughs> he said, yes, it is true. Let them know that the word of God is a word of hope. Mm -hmm. If you have no hope, it is a word of peace, a word of life, a word of love, a word of joy mm -hmm. to the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you proclaim the word truthfully, you give to the people hope yeah. for life and strength mm -hmm. and peace and confidence. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. You find it in the world, but who is the minister? You see, listen, I said to you, I've said it all always, it matters whose ministry you sit under, yeah. nothing on the wall. Mm -hmm. It matters because you are growing and everything depends on what he knows of God. Amen. Yeah. Because what he knows is what he's going to give you. Amen. All he knows is right here to his, the front of his nose. That's it. You don't see nothing more. Nothing more. <laughs> you be like him. Amen. Don't you know you take on the characteristics of the ministry under which you say? Yes. 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 Woe be unto you if, 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 if your if your pastor don't have life. Amen. You, you, you'll be miserable because he's going to talk life. you talk materials. Mm -hmm. Stop. You talk money. Mm -hmm. You talk uh, all kinds of stuff except Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. But life is in Jesus, not in yes. teaching. Yes. It is in Jesus. Yes. <laughs> so I must present that's what I hear. We talk Jesus. Yes. We talk
Lord. Thank you, know, you, Jesus. you know my spiritual father, Marshall. Marshall used to say, he said, why, why do people hate me? Hate the Jew? Why, why do you hate the Jew? Because if you had the God that the Jew had, you would be like him too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, if you was a Jew and, and God opened the Red Sea for you, yes. and God brought water from a rock, <laughs> God gave you food from heaven mm -hmm. in the wilderness, mm -hmm. and you want to walk, you walk like this. <laughs> Why? Your God is alive. Yeah. Your God takes care of you. The Bible says, the Bible says, he that will boast, let him boast of the Lord. Yeah. Let him boast of the glory of yeah. God. Yeah. Let him boast of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Marshall is a nice wife. We, we Jews, you know, it seems like, you know, we boast of our God. Yeah. Yeah. Because our fathers, Abraham, oh, okay, they brought God. In his life, 
He discovered by first obeying the word in his life. He discovered all the blessings by first obeying the word yeah. in his life. He didn't just, just read the word. No, you know you read the word, you see the blessings, but they are not yours. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. You read the word, oh yeah, 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 but it's not yours. But it's supposed to be yours. Okay? If you don't obey the word of God, it is never yours. Amen. With God, what you don't obey, you don't possess. Because mm -hmm. right. when you obey, you put your heart into it. Yeah. You live it out. Mm -hmm. Taking you through some, mm -hmm. some, some problems. Mm -hmm. You yes. come out. Ah, yes, yes God, I yes. know. I know that Jesus lives. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Yeah. Here. He sought the Lord, kept his word, and experienced what the word of God did, uh, did in his heart. All the blessings of the word in his life. He discovered by fresh obeying the word in his life. Yes, the songwriter kept the word of God in his heart and experienced the truth of what he does in his own life. That is why he's able to sing and say, as David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, so I may not sin against you. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. All that he experienced it for himself. And he spoke about it. Yes, it is true. The conversations the songwriter held with the Lord were about his word. Ain't that something? You really want to talk about barbecue dinner. No, you know, I mean, we are making a barbecue dinner next week and we need help. Lord, can heaven send us some? Some, Oh, yeah, okay. Whatever you need to make it, to make your barbecue dinner. I go ask from God. <laughs> he says here yeah, the conversations the songwriter held with, you know, with the Lord were about his word as a lamp on his feet and a light to his back. We want to know more. In his conversations with the Lord, he asked so many questions. And the Lord opened up his word to him, and he saw, wow, look at the benefits of the word. So he held more conversations with the Lord in his time of fellowship with the Lord. He did not go before the Lord with, with a request about material possessions and the supplies of his earthly needs, as most of you often do. He just wanted to know more about the word of law. Yes, amen. The message of the good news and its blessings for his life. Yeah. If you come to the law, listen, if you come to the law, ask those things which will be of spiritual value to your spirit life instead of the things which are temporal in value. That, that which is temporal will pass away. Right. Mm -hmm. That which is spiritual abides. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is why most of you do not receive what you ask from the Lord. Because it is just so you will consume it upon your flesh and upon your lust. Amen. That's what James said. Amen. Yes, it is true. Let them know that I say there is no other message except the word of God. Mm -hmm. This word does not change. It abides forever. It is the word which gives life, which gives life and joy and peace. It is the word which alone changes man's destiny and brings joy into their soul. Yeah. Yes, life is in the word. Don't you remember that the word of God is sharper than any two a sword? And pierces even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Verse 12. God don't know his word. <laughs> what amazes me the most is the fact that he knows Bible. <laughs> From Genesis to Revelation. If I didn't know the word, God has spent a lot of years reading the word. Yes. So when I hear him say, I know where, you know, where, where it comes from. Mm. So I, I, I'll note it and I write it and then I go back and check it and put the exact quote. Um, Amazing. <laughs> Because he he, he he quote from here, he quote from here, he quote from there. He makes his message like that. From the word. The Lord never goes out of the word. Amen. 
The law stays within the, 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 the confines of Genesis and Revelation. Amen. The word. Amen. Yes. Amen. The law. Yes, Lord. He honors his word. Yes, Lord. He teaches his word. Yes, Lord. We, we teach doctrines of devils. Mm. And he says here, it is the word which alone changes man's destiny and brings joy into your soul. Yes, life is in the word. Don't you remember that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword and pierces even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and even of the joints and marrows and it discerns amazing. It discerns the intents and purposes of the heart. Yes, this is the word you should know and learn and keep in your heart. So it will do its work of piercing dividing in your being, exposing and sifting yes. and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart. Amen. Read the word of God. So I say to you, there is no other word in the whole world that you should seek to know and keep in your heart except the everlasting and ever abiding and ever living God and ever living word of God. Yes, it is true. Don't you see it when you read the Psalms? David says, Thy word have I kept before me. Yes, you two should keep my word before your eyes. Yes, before you fall you so you will always look at it and know what to do. Keep my word in your heart so you will not sin against the Lord. Yes, and let the word, the, the word be a lamp unto your feet. And a light unto your path. Yes, so you will find your way as you walk in this world of darkness. Mm -hmm. Keep my word diligently in your heart yes. and obey them in your daily life mm -hmm. so that you will prosper and make progress in your lives. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that's all I have for you. Mm -hmm. you know, at the end of this first message, I don't know what you are doing. It's ten something. Maybe I can read a little bit of the of the second message. That's where we saw mm -hmm. But oh, I can leave it and then we continue. Tomorrow we'll not continue. Tomorrow we'll go to America. So if you want to know this, you have to be patient, let me read the next one. There's a few portions of it for you mm -hmm. to understand. You tell me what you want. You got me, 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 I have time. Okay? You want it? Yeah, we shall as well. All right, we shall. Yes, yes. 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 Ah, ah, yes, God. Ooh, yes, God. Ah, Father God. All right, let me read quick. Now I'll, I'll finish it because yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, 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 okay. Pray that I don't, I don't stop and don't go. Because I heard it all when he was preaching it. When the Lord was saying that I, I, I got it all in my being. So as I'm preaching, it's, it's coming all the places that he went. <laughs> oh yes, go. Let me see the song. The song. The song. Let me see that. Find the song. And get it to you. Ah, yes, go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, thank you. I guess I didn't write this one. It's, it's in the middle. Okay, we'll, we'll find it. We'll, we'll run into it. Oh, yes, yes. If you are mine and you live in me, why will I not reveal the secrets unto you? You hear that? Abide. Yeah. Abiding in the vine. Mm -hmm. That's the way secrets are revealed. Mm -hmm. 
not just going to church. Secrets are not revealed by just going to church. Amen. Secrets are revealed to your heart when you abide. Come on. Commune. Amen. You remain, okay, attached to the vine. Amen. Right? So he says here, if you are mine and you live in me, why will I not reveal the secrets unto you? Yes, I will reveal everything to you, the hidden things. Yes, because you are my friends, notice that word. You are my friends. I will reveal the secrets to you. He said in John, John, uh, uh, John 15, I do not call you anymore friend, uh, 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 servant. I call you friends. Why? Because everything my father gave to me, I have shown it to you. Yes. So friendship comes on the basis of revelation. The father revealed to the son. And those the son calls to be friends are those he also reveals to them. He mm -hmm. don't reveal to church boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Ooh, yes, God. Yes, because you are my friends, I will reveal the secrets to you. This is uh, February 27, 2020. Oh, yes. That's it. Yes. This life you now live. You live not unto yourself. And this world you live in, you live unto the Lord. Amen. Okay, I, I just want to show. The life that we live, the life that we live, we live unto the Lord. I, I, I have it on my, on my phone, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wish that when I thought I would play it. I have it on my on my phone. Let's go. Uh, another time. So the life now we live. Okay? We live, you live not unto yourself. And this and this world you live in, you live unto the Lord. Don't you know that you were dead in your sins? Yes, but now you are risen with Christ. Amen. Yes, you are risen with me in power. Amen. Yes, the Amen. word of God says the body is sown in weakness. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 15. It's sown in weakness, but raised up in power. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you two are risen in power with me. In your water baptism, you were buried with Christ unto, into his death. Yes, you were planted together in the likeness of his death, sharing a death like his. See, that's the importance of water baptism. Okay? It's not some physical thing that we do. It has a spiritual meaning. When they dump you, know, they, they just sprinkle you. You don't bury anybody's sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> they dump you down on the, wall, on, on the bottom of the, of the water. It's a, it's, a sign, it's a sign that you are buried. Yeah. Okay? And then when you come out of the water, you are raised to the minutes of life. Yeah. Okay? So he says here, we share, we share a death like his. You became one with him when you were baptized into my death. And you also became one with him in sharing the resurrection by a new life lived for God. Living in newness of life. So therefore, you no longer live unto yourself. Your new life is now lived in my power. Yes. This new life you have is a life of power. You are risen in power as I was raised in power. Because your old life was nailed to the cross with Christ and buried in the tomb with him. Yes. Amen. Now, you are risen with me in my power. You no longer live to do your will, but to do my will. And to live with me and to live by me. Yes, it is true indeed. It is true that I was raised from the dead so you can have faith in me and be able to walk with me. I was raised from the dead so you can trust me. Yes, have Lord. faith in me and be able to walk with me. Yes, Lord. Okay? All right. Yes, I told you when I was with you that I am living, I am the living bread and the life. But when I rose, when I rose up, I rose up in resurrection power. 
Yes, it is in resurrection power I was raised up by the glory of the Father. So that I could fulfill, remember this. So that now I'm raised up, right? I'm raised up. So that I could fulfill my promises. Read John, read John. John uh, 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 what? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Read it. How many promises he, you know, he made? About his peace, I give my peace unto you. About his love, about his joy, about everything else he promised. He promised it when he ain't died yet. Amen. So he couldn't give it to you. But now he's alive. Yeah. What is he going to do? He's going to make sure what he promised he fulfills. Amen. That is why the risen Christ gives love. The risen Christ gives joy. The resurrected Son of God gives peace. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give. Now he gives. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. if you obey my words, okay, you have my joy. Yes. My joy will be with you so that your joy will be full. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. Now he gives joy. Amen. Peter knows that there is joy on speak up and full of glory. Yes. Right? Amen. So now he's alive to fulfill every word he promised to his people. Yes, Lord. No church going. Okay, we go to church, we gather as a people of God to worship our God. We meet, it's no, we don't meet in church. We meet in a meeting place. Come on, man. You are the church. Come on, man. Yes. Stop saying I'm going to church. I'm going to church. Amen. I'm going to meet with the brethren at the meeting place. Amen. So we can meet with God. Amen. And talk with him. Amen. And worship. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the church. Hallelujah. Yeah. The church is going to meet. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Says here, I was raised up by the glory of the Father so that I could fulfill my promises in you. Notice, in you. Not to you, inside you. Peace must dwell inside you. Love must live inside you. Joy must live inside you. Strength must be poured into you. Everything will be fulfilled in you. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Not to you, in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now I am raised up from the dead. So I can. Okay, we were led to read again and, and notice something going on. 
Okay, so when the Lord came, he said, yes, you read Rhys house and you saw what I did with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, you saw what I did. Have you read it? Yes. Brother, when you ain't read it, you, 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 you had another brother head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lord, oh, yes, Lord. Oh. <laughs> Go and read it. Okay? Read the book. I'm not crazy to assign you. You see how God talk about this? How are you witnessing? <laughs> hey, if you are on, on the internet, you ain't read this out, brother. Go get you one and read. Because you ain't going to know what. Amen. You ain't going to know what until you read this out. You not just read it. You start to open your soul to the Holy Ghost. He said, you read this out. And you saw what I did with him. You must read and study diligently and carefully what I did in him and through him. Before I know, before I can reveal my jewels and my pearls in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have read it for Brother Moses, uh, Brother Israel. Yo, yeah, yeah, I do, I do know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yes. You are not him. Brian is his brother Jacob. No, no, he's his brother. 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 You're gonna be wild. <laughs> no man can tell you except God. Elvis. Elvis. I don't know about Elvis. I don't know about Elvis. I don't know about Elvis. I don't know I don't know about Abraham Moses, how for you Moses is your name. You know? oh. it, it fits you. <laughs> Listen to Abraham Moses. When you all went out there, I will be came here. Says, the Lord says to us, you read Rish House, but that night we had read Rish House. Okay, so he, when he came to talk to us, he referred to it. You read Rish House and you saw what I did with him. You must read and study diligently and carefully what I did in him and through him before I can reveal my jewels and pearls in you. What I'm gonna give to you. Okay? Study this house and see what I did before I can entrust you with what I'm gonna give to you. So he says, yes, this house obeyed me implicitly. And you too must obey me. I must reveal my precious pearls and gifts in you as I reveal them in this house. So you must be one with me. Yes, God. What is the secret of this house? He's one. Amen. He's one with him. By abiding. Yeah. John 15. By abiding. Stay vitally connected to the Lord. Yeah. Okay? Says it. Uh, I must reveal my precious pearls and gifts in you as I reveal them in this house. Mm -hmm. So you must be one with me. I want Uza, I want to do in you what I did in this house. Mm -hmm. After hearing that, you can go and turn your back on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go and do what you want. I want to do in you what I did in this house. I need a people who will obey me and be one with me. So I can reveal my riches in them. I cannot reveal my riches in you unless you two are one with me. Yes, ma'am. When Christ came, I didn't say I'm the Father one. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you and me, you are the devil are one, but you are not one with God? <laughs> oh, how easy it is to be one with the devil. We, we believe in what I even know we are with the devil. Don't you know that? 
some thoughts come in our mind and we, 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 we think it is God. It's the devil. Amen. We don't even discern our own thoughts. That's right. And we agree with him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was, my Lord, he's right. You heard me now. I agree. I don't say Israel. But what's wrong with you? Let me call Israel. That's a great blessing, brother. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem with it? Big problem. The guy is happy with his new name in the spirit. Now you are. Here. <laughs> I got a new name, brother. <laughs> well, there you go. I cannot reveal my riches in you unless you two are one with me. As we shall learn it. Yeah. There should be no division and no separation between us. We must be one. And we must work together as one. So you must do all in your power to learn with the help of the Holy Ghost what Rishaosh learned and how he walked with me. Yes, let us walk together so we can do the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true, indeed. The word I spoke to you, that you should abide in me, and I also will abide in you, that is the only way, yes, the only way to walk with me. I want to give you an assignment. Okay, you read chapter 9 and chapter 10 of Rishabh. Right? Yes, sir. You are, you are going to jump into this very part of the message and see how to abide in God, how to abide in Christ. Or you must abide in Him. You must stay vitally connected to Him. Yes, sir. Okay? And it will teach you, it will show you. If you have any questions, call Pastor Fitch or call Amen. Us. Amen. Okay, before this weekend, the, the, this weekend is come and gone. If you have any questions about abiding in the law, you can talk to us. Yes, sir. Okay? Because you've got to abide, you've got to abide in the law. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the Spirit of God can flow through you easily. Yes. Guide you, use your life, and make you a blessing. Okay? You, you, you get all the ghost. So you see it. The word I spoke to you that you should abide in me, and I also will abide in you. That is the only way. Yes, the only way to walk with me. That is how my work can be done. Mm -hmm. Tell my people that to abide in me and remain vitally connected to me is the only way every one of my children should follow me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, all those who desire to follow me must follow me in that way. Yes. Abide in me and I will abide in you. For without me, you can do nothing. Amen. 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 I don't understand that. <laughs> now, let me ask you, you who are before me, you know, asking, you know, talking to the four of us, you who are before me, listen to me. What have you learned from the Lord these last three years? What have you seen about my work? Have you seen that abiding in me is the only way to do the work of God? Yes. I am asking you, he said, I'm asking. Have you seen that abiding in the Lord is the only way to accomplish the work of the Lord? He asking us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to flow through you. My power has to be revealed in you and pass through you. But how will that be except you abide in me and become one with me? You see that? So I say to you, you must learn what Rich House learned. If you want to be my branch, my branch. Ah, you know this, I'm, the, I'm the true vine yeah. and you are my church goers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You are my friend. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no,
dead branches. Look at my dead branches. Am I how he said that? I know. No dead branch can, can dwell in Christ. There is no dead branch in Christ. They are all alive. Can you have this look there? The father moving around looking. Brother, is he dead? Uh, uh, angel, uh, look that, that one. Is he dead? Go shake him, see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you ain't dead yet. You're like. Uh, don't judge him in the middle like he's dead. All right, so watch him, okay? <laughs> My Lord, ain't this man crazy? Am I not crazy, Lord? <laughs> Yes, God, let me finish it down go. It says here, but how will that be except you abide in me and become one with me? So I say to you, you must learn what rich house learned if you want, if you want to be my branches. You must abide in me and be one with me. Without this union, you walk with me in vain. Yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Without this oneness. So you know, but don't like to. You have a long way to go to become one with him. Yes. You must accept the truth, yes. but it's true. Mm -hmm. You have a long, because your nature must be changed. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't be one with me and, and, and keep your selfish stuff. No, all will die. Mm -hmm. You will have his heart. Mm -hmm. You will have his mind. You will have his love. You will have everything that comes from him into you. That is the only way you can be one with him. He will take out the old dead branches, the old dead life, and give you new life. His nature, Peter says, he gave us precious promises so that by that we become partakers of the divine nature. Yes. Second Peter, chapter 1, partakers of the divine nature. It is a partakers of the church going. Mm -hmm. no church going business here. Yeah. It is a life, a communion, a fellowship, a seeking, an open of your being to him. So he can transform you from me. Listen, did you read the word of God? Those he did, he, he did for no, he also did predestinate to go to church <laughs> and sing in the choir and six and, and teach Sunday school. Is that why is that why he planned for you? He did predestinate to be conformed yes. to the image of his son to make you like Jesus, brother. Yes. So allow him to make you like him. Yeah. And you'll be one with him. Uh, listen, don't brothers in the family look alike. Amen. Brothers in the family, listen, if even if, if my children, if our, if our children don't know where he'll look up, wow, they look like him. They look like him. <laughs> Ooh, if, if, if my brothers, okay, if my brothers were here, you say, wow, you don't see different. <laughs> we, we, there's so many of our faces, there's so many of our faces, you, you, you can't steal it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many of our cheeks, you see my daughter? Yeah. There's so many of our cheeks, oh, he's there. <laughs> no, you can't hide. <laughs> you can't steal my daughter. <laughs> Ooh, yes, God. So we must be one with him. He says, she, uh, I say it again, you must learn what Rich House learned with me so you too can be used by me to help others. Okay, let me let me see this place. Okay. Well, you, you, okay. It says uh, you must abide in me and be one with me. Without without this union, you walk with me in vain. Nothing will happen in your life. So I say it again. You must learn what Rishaus learned with me. So you too can be used by me to help the people. Yes, it is true. It is I, the Lord, the Lord who died for you, who laid down my life and took it up again. It is I who called Paul. He was Saul, but he later became Paul. It is I too who called David and did what I did with, you know, you know, uh, uh, did with him what I did. I am the all-powerful one, the all-sufficient one. I do not need anything beside me alone. If you don't learn what Rich House learned, with, we will walk in vain. You cannot do anything for me because I cannot use you. I don't need 
any anything from the world to do my work. Amen. You must give to me what I'm asking for. If not, we will walk in vain and nothing will, will be accomplished. You must listen to me, follow my instructions, and learn the way rich house learned and walk with me. The world must be crucified in your lives before we can walk together and accomplish my work. The world yes. must be crucified in your lives. Yes, it is true. Listen to what I'm saying. I beseech you to surrender your, yourselves to me. Yes, did my servant Paul not plead with the believers to present their bodies to God as a living sacrifice and yield their lives to, to the Lordship of Christ? I too am asking you to yield your lives to me. I too, I beseech you to surrender your bodies completely to me. The world is not, your, is not yours any longer. You do not belong to the world. What did the songwriter say? Did he not say, the world is no longer yours? So you too must know that the world is no longer yours. You now belong to Christ. You no longer belong to the world anymore. Amen. Were you given the world or was, was it Christ that was given to you? Mm. When you come to the Father, he, he, he gave you the world or he gave you Christ? Yes, Christ. <laughs> if it is Christ that was given to you, then you should see Christ. You cannot follow the world and follow me too. You must give up the world before you can follow me. The world still has control over you and still influences your attitudes and conduct. Mm. Amen. Yes, you must turn away. Turn away from the world before you can walk together with Christ Jesus your Lord. Yes, it is true. Have you forgotten the songwriter's song we, uh, which we sang the other day? We no longer live unto our life, unto ourselves. We live unto the Lord. Now, why have you come to the Lord, but you want still to live unto, your, uh, 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 unto yourself? Let them know that no one lives unto himself anymore. You all live unto Jesus Christ now. You are no longer, you no longer live to express the independence of your self-life and your self-will. You live to express Christ. Yes, amen. Yes, it is true. Or have you forgotten the song which says, He is my Lord, He is my Lord, He is my life. He is my life, oh, He is my Lord, He is my life, He is my Lord, He is my life, oh, He is my Lord, He is my Lord, He is my life, oh, He is my love. I say, He is my Lord, oh, He is my life, He is my Lord. Is my land. Oh my Lord. This is a song that the Lord just gave me spontaneously to my sister. Mm -hmm. He has given us many songs. But he's the author of it. He just poured them into my sister's being. Mm -hmm. And she wrote it. He sang so we were singing. That's the, the, this message comes from the song. He says, Yeah. Oh, have you forgotten the song we said he's my Lord and he's my life? Now. Let me ask you, does a, does a servant live unto himself or to the master? The servant lives unto the master. If it is so, then you have to live unto the Lord Jesus Christ. When you read the Gospel of Luke, don't you see that the unfaithful servant was told to give account to the master because the master wanted him to know more in his service? That is Luke chapter 16. Yes, because he was not faithful, the master relieved him of his responsibility. Don't you remember that, that in Luke's gospel? Yes. Now listen to what I'm saying. Give your whole being to the work, to, to the work we are doing. Yes. And you yourselves will say in the end that, Oh Lord, we thank you. Because now we have seen all that you have done for us. Amen. Give yourself 
immediately to what we are doing, and you you testify for it. Yes. Do not. Uh, do, don't you see that if you if you do uh, your work well, do your work well, the, the work I have, I, I, I have the reward. You have the reward in the end. Mm -hmm. Let us do the work well, and let us open our whole being and do what the Lord has given to us to do. Don't you know that if you do the work well in the end, you will hear from the Lord that those wonderful words, well done thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy of your Lord. Wouldn't you love to hear that from your Lord Jesus Christ in the end? Ooh, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you like to hear that you did a good job for the Lord? So, I beseech you, my brethren, let us do the work of the Lord with our whole being and serve the Lord faithfully. So the Lord will be pleased with the work you do. Do you uh, uh, do all in your power and might to do the work of the Lord the way he says to do it. Okay? So you also will receive your reward at the end of your life. Yes. Let them know that I think good thoughts and good plans for them. I, the Lord your God, I have no mean thoughts for my people. And all I think of you are good thoughts and yeah. good plans for you. And in the end, the Lord your God will bless you abundantly mm -hmm. if you are faithful to him yes. to the end. Yes, that's all I have for you tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, the Lord has spoken to us. Yes. You cannot deny that. So what are you going to do? Where do you go from here? Yes. If I were you, because in the beginning something happened to me, in the beginning of my Christian world, I read a small book on prayer. Mm -hmm. I read a small book, Ian Bounds. God, the guy drove me crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read it, it burns in my heart. Something in my being was Christ. I said, yes, God, I want this. I want that. So I put the book down, fall on my face, and cry to God. Lord, do in my soul what this man is talking about. I want this. I want to be able to pray like what he's talking about. Amen. You heard God. You can do only two things. Yes, Lord. And then bow before him and cry, Lord. I don't know what you're going to do. But I must, I must experience this. Yes, I must get hold of this. Lord, you're going to do it in me. Amen. One man of God, John G. Lake, says he met a young man after he preached in, the, in, in, in his conferences. A young man came. He said, Brother, Brother John, uh, I got your tapes. I got your messages. I got them right here in my in my in my in my, in my, uh, well, in my, in my Bible. Oh, no, not Bible. In my, in my briefcase. It's in my briefcase. But brother, brother John, it's not mine yet. What you said is not mine yet. But give me some time. It's gonna be mine. Amen. I'm going, I'm gonna do what you said. I'm gonna experience it. God, I'm gonna fall before my face and cry to God and let him work it in my pain. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. So what you have heard, you have heard it. It sounds good in your ear, but it's not yours. It's not yours yet, but it can be yours. Mm -hmm. But who else can make it yours? The Lord himself. The Holy Ghost himself. That's his job. What you hear, what you read from the Lord, go to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, I don't know what you're going to do, but I ain't going to know until you work this thing in my being. Work it in my character. Give me a taste of this. I want the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, I want you to baptize me. I heard there's a Holy Ghost. I must have Holy Ghost. I must then go and know what this is. What is it? Uh, it's my brother's word. It's my brother's word. Okay? You know, when he heard of, of Holy Ghost, he was working one day. He said he heard a sermon on the Holy Ghost. He didn't have no Holy Ghost baptism. He had some, some anointings that he would do some good work. But when he, when he heard Holy Ghost, so Holy Ghost would like to talk some tongues. He went and, and knelt in the street. He was going, he just fell, kneel down. He said, Lord, ain't going nowhere until I get Holy Ghost. Ooh. <laughs> 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 he knelt down and cried to God, brother, he go, Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying this to tell you, 
The Lord is ready. Yes. Anyhow, anytime, whoever wants it, you go to God. Fall on your face. Show him you are serious. Are you hearing me now? Mm -hmm. Show him you want what he talked about. You mentioned Rich House. I'm going to get me Rich House. I told you Rich after night after 10. I'm going to Rich after night after 10. And look at what he says. Abiding in Christ. I'm going to abide in Christ. The Lord revealed to Rich House. He said, listen, listen. I'm going to make you. The Father has made you a living branch in the vine. A living branch in the vine. Whatever the Father wants to pour out over the whole world, He will pour it through you. I know that. He will pour it in your being. Amen. So when you become a living branch in Christ, you have life. Yes. Brother, you become a channel of blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on. Brethren, listen, don't let me be the only one that talks Jesus. All of us have to talk God. Yes. All of us have to talk Holy Ghost. Yes. All of us have to have one mouth, one mind, one heart, glorifying the Lord our King, yes. lifting Him up in our lives, yes. crying, Here comes Jesus. Yes. Here comes the Lord. He lives yes. inside of me. He lives in the Lord of me. He lives in every one of us. Here comes Jesus. He shall be glorified in our I love you. And I know Jesus is serious. Yes, he is. Would you help Jesus? <laughs> no man is a Jesus who helps us. <laughs> right? But I'm saying, would you help Jesus? See, the Lord says something. He said, listen, how many of you are right, you come to me? And I, 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 I don't mind my people coming to me. But how many of you have ever come to me? Not coming to ask for bread. Or for anything. But just come say, Lord, can you share with me the burden in your heart? Ando! Ando! Can you share with me the pain you carry in your heart about your people? What you see that is breaking your heart. So I can maybe pray something about. Are you hearing me? Yes. Why is, it, why, why is it always one way street? We go, 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 go to him, go to him, go to him, go to him, go to him. But he never tells us anything of his heart, of his pain, of his anguish, of his frustration with his, with his church. We ask the Lord, put, put it on our heart. The Lord give, give us a challenge. Would you say here what he said? See. Whatever you see in the nation that ain't going right, you can come and talk to me about it. And I'll do something about it. So, so now what we do in our night season, we listen to the news. Last, last, like around 9 o'clock or 10 or 1 o'clock, we listen to some portion of the news. See what has happened. We survey what is going on. Okay, and we, we, we have Holy Ghost, so we discern. Okay, what we should we should talk to God about. Mm -hmm. And then we go to God and say, Lord, you told us to come to you with what we see. This is what we see. This is what going on. And we know you know it. But Father, we pray, oh God, do something about this for us. Father, do something. Come on. You hear that? You hear that? Mm -hmm. We are taking all our responsibility to let God know what is going on. Yes. Amen. Amen. What are you gonna do? Will you go to the Lord and say, Lord, you've spoken to us. you blessed us. But Father, can you let the Holy Ghost work it in us? Go to God, Lord, you promised Holy Ghost. I've been around, ain't going to Holy Ghost. Father, I need the Spirit of God so I can do something for your glory. I can cry out. Let me explain something to you so that you'll be desperate. You want, hear, you, want, you want to hear me? Yes. I want to me. <laughs> when the man is born again, mm. all right, and he's not yet baptized in the Holy Spirit, mm. okay, he is like somebody who is dumb. Mm. His mouth is not open. Mm. The spirit mouth is different from this physical mouth. Mm. The spirit mouth, if you're not baptized in the Holy Ghost, your spirit mouth, your new man, his mouth is not open in the spirit. Mm. OK? 
Okay, so there are a lot of things deep in your being that you love to talk to God, but you can't, you don't have the language to express it. You, you get frustrated because you, you feel I want to say things to God, but it don't come. I don't know how to say it. Oh, you only say English. Father, help. I need this. Father, heal me. Father, heal me. Okay, but this is just your, 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 your human nature trying to express something to God. The Holy Spirit, okay, comes when you are baptized. The first step, it opens your mouth. You see, that is why the tongues come. The tongues are a sign that the Spirit of God has come in. And when he comes in, he gives you a language to talk to God, not your English. Amen. You see that? Amen. So now, whatever it is, you don't have to worry what I'm going to say to God. And don't go go in one gate, in one go in one gate. God understands that. And it frees you from the depths of your being. Yes, Lord. Because it don't, it don't come from the physical nature. It comes from your innermost being, yes, your yes, spirit. Yes, 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 Lord. So tongues come from the deepest part of your being. It takes all that is out there, all the frustration, and yes, it communicates them yes, to God. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. then you understand Romans 8, 26, and then 27, 28. <laughs> okay, likewise, the Spirit himself helps our weaknesses, our infirmities. Why? For we know not what to pray for. We know not what. He didn't say how. What? Content. We don't know how to express it. What to say to Come God? Come on. Because it's too deep for us. Come on. We don't know what's on the inside. So we don't know what to say as we ought. But the Spirit Himself, oh. I am also, yeah. make, make, make what? Intercessions for us. Yeah. We groan it. Too deep to be, to what? To be, you know, to be uh, expressed in human language. Uh -huh. The groanings of the Spirit cannot be in the, the human mind expression. Right. The, the spirit that cries Amen. unto God Amen. on our behalf. Amen. Then he says, he who searches the heart, God who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the spirit. And God, God knows what the Holy Ghost is. I <laughs> God understands that I'm going to go deep in my being. It don't come from my, my throat. It's not a, a physical language. It's a spirit language from the depth of your being. The spirit mouth is not this. The spirit mouth is on the inside. Dando, It breaks inside, it breaks, Amen. it removes all the stumbling blocks deep in your being. Yes. All right? Then as all resistance deep within your nature Ooh, yeah. will be destroyed by the Spirit of God. Yes. Okay? And bring you the, the meekness yes. and the, the humility yes. of the heart of God yes. on the inside. That's how it goes work. All right? So that's yours. So you go tonight, fall down on your face, you say, God, I heard what you said. I want, I want the spirit to want to talk about the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, I can, how can I communicate with you? Amen. My, language, my language is English, that's all I say. Amen. You know, that was understand English. Amen. Because they've lived on this, on this earth with man, they know man, Amen. man English. But you don't understand the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. You don't understand, you don't understand. Yes, you know, yes, when you Lord. talk tongues, you know what you're talking about. Yes, Lord. Wow. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. You see that, that here. Now, it's, this, this is a true testimony. All right? A true testimony. There was one, one man of God, okay? He was sick. Okay? He was, something happened and he was, you see, like an accident or something. And any time he was praying, he go going and he's praying, okay, in English, all right? He ain't got no peace, he ain't got no, no deliverance. But when he talks in, in, the, in tongues, okay, in tongues, they seem like he, you know, he got some, you know, some peace about it. Right. But he, the moment he stops, then the attack comes. Amen. And then the Lord gives him a vision. 
In the village, there are two demons. One sitting here, one sitting there. Mm. All right? When he talks, okay, and the, and the sickness is going down, okay, the other one, they talk too hard in his ear. Hey, what is he talking about? He talking some language. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. He said, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yes. When he talks in tongues, them demons say, let's go, brother. Yes. <laughs> let's go. Ooh, brother. Brother Jacob, you are a wrestler, and I don't know why I know. <laughs> You're going to fight for God. I, I, I believe it. Okay? You're going to be a warrior for God. So don't worry, just your father. I want to be what you want me to be. But I know as a child of God, I must receive the Holy Ghost. I want to thank you for the Holy Ghost. I read it. You, you said this promise is for me. For you know, for, for my children, for as many as the Lord uh, God will call, you called me. So I thank you for this gift of the, of the Spirit of God, the gift of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost in God's gift to us. And when the Holy Ghost comes in, He will release you, signify Himself. Hey, I'm here. How does He do? I'm no blah, 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 blah. How are He there? He there. When the visitor comes to your house, does He not talk? Mm. Are you my soul? Holy Ghost comes. <laughs> Holy Ghost will signify himself, I'm here, Brother Brian, I've come. You come here. All right, thank you, Holy Ghost. Now Amen. let's go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, brother, this guy is crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so now let's let's close and let's 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 stand and pray for these two uh, requests, okay? Okay. Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bring before you, God, our beloved brother, Brother Lloyd. Father God, we love our brother. Yes. And we know you love him too. Yes. But Father, this thing that has attacked, oh God, him personally, Lord, in his mortal body, the Lord alone has the power to destroy it. And the blood alone has the power to destroy it. So in the name of Jesus, you said I came. I came that I might destroy the works of Satan. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, sicknesses and infirmities are the, uh, the works of the enemy. So we come against this in the name of Jesus Christ, that the sickness, that cancer in the being of Brother Roy, we trust it in the name of Jesus. We call down your fire in the name of Jesus, Father God, to destroy the work of the enemy. Father, right in his being, in the name of Jesus, we send the word of God. We send the word of God by the Spirit of God to enter his being and destroy, destroy this cancer. Lord, root it out in the name of Jesus and deliver him in the name of Jesus. Let the blood destroy. Let the blood destroy the sickness in the name of Jesus and release your servant. Release him from this captivity. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Brother the Lord. Father, touch him. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. We are releasing, O oh God, your anointing. The anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage. The anointing, the presence of God fall upon him. The presence of the Holy Spirit will permeate his being. The presence of the Spirit of God will flow into his spirit, flow into his body, flow into his emotions. Flow God and Father uproot the work of the devil. Destroy this body. Father, we come against it in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. Let your eternal peace rule and abide in his being, bringing the healing and the health that he needs. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And everybody said amen. 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 And now, Lord, we now lift up over Minerva, our sister, oh God, Lord Minerva, a minister, Father Brown, Father in the hospital with COVID, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the God that delivers us, oh Father God, enter into that hospital room, oh Lord, in Detroit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and destroy, destroy the work of the devil, and set us Set her body free. Deliver her by the blood of Jesus. And make her everything whole. Minerva, we 
send the word of God. We shed the word of God in that hospital room to enter into your mortal body, your spirit, your soul, and your body be preserved, blameless in the name of Jesus. Father, heal. Heal yourself in the name of Jesus. Yes, break it out on the mountain. Yes, yes, break it. In yes, Jesus' name, yes, we break the yoke of bondage yes, over your nervous yes, spirit, soul, and body. Father, healing belongs to them. Yes, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it. And we shall see victory yes, in Jesus' name. And now, what is that? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for Sister Cora for peace upon yes, her soul. Peace in her spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus, let her rejoice in the in the power of her God, yes. for her God alone can do this. Yes, Father, we thank you for supernatural peace. Yes, yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, Lord, dismiss her from your presence. Amen. From your presence, Amen. not Father, without you going with us. For Father, you go with us. Amen. We may live here, but Lord, we don't leave you. Yes, Lord. You go with us. To go with us as we leave this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power of the Holy Ghost sustain us. May the blood of Jesus cover us from head to toe. Father, there shall no COVID attach its filthy hand to any of the church. In the name of Jesus Christ, no, no corona, nothing will attach itself, Lord, to our children, to all of us and our, our brethren, our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Father, thank you for preserving your people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your church, the church of Jesus Christ. Preserve all your children from the destruction of this filthy sacrifice in Jesus' name. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for removing, Lord, this corona attack from the face of this nation. In the name of Jesus and from the face of the earth. Thank you, Father God, that it shall be so. Because, Father, you watch over us and you bless us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.